Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the design of external gear pump. So, let's get started. Now, here is the diagram of the external gear pump which we are going to design. I will explain the working first. What happens is here we have a driver gear and a driven gear. Both are in mesh as we can see here. Power is provided to the driver gear with the help of motor. Here there is this shaft shaft of the driver gear which is connected to the motor shaft giving the power to this shaft then when this shaft starts rotating here the direction is assumed to be clockwise direction so the driver gear starts to rotate and since it is in mesh with the driven gear it will drive the driven gear as well and since it is an external arrangement external gear pump so when one of the gear rotates in the clockwise direction the other one rotates in an anti clockwise direction Gear pumps are high speed operation machines means the gear pump would be operating at a very high speed so it would be directly coupled with the motor there is no need of reduction gearbox in between so and the reason behind such high speed or high velocity is that we can get huge amount of discharge because from the continuity equation Q that is the discharge is area into velocity and if we want to increase as we can see here the discharge is directly proportional to the velocity so if we want to increase the discharge and definitely pumps are high discharge machineries so we need to increase the velocity of the pump and so that is why they are rotating at a very high speed and what happens is here there is inlet this inlet is connected to the suction pipe so here there would be a suction pipe which will take in oil from the oil sump or the oil tank so there would be an oil sump or the oil tank from which the oil would be taken in into the gear pump now what happens is that oil would occupy complete spaces inside the casing because this is the external casing of the pump so the oil would it will go on occupying all the spaces and what happens is that when the oil is trapped in between the space where the teeth would be in mesh the teeth does work on the oil increasing the oil pressure and ultimately in all the spaces the oil would be compressed we can say and so the pressure of the oil will go on increasing and finally that high pressure oil would be discharged from the outlet into the delivery pipe so in this way the pump is going to deliver the high pressure oil which can be used like for example lubrication purpose in case of IC engines and at the same time oil being a viscous liquid that is why we are using the gear pump here because oil is the viscous liquid and then one of the advantages is that the same oil would be used as the lubrication of this gear pump so there is no need of external lubrication over here and the casing is of sufficient thickness so as to provide rigidity and strength to the pump at the same time the casing would be made in two halves one is shown over here another half would be there and then there would be bolt holes on these casing so that the two casing halves are connected with the help of bolts and then the assembly gets completed now when we are going to design this gear pump we have to design how much discharge is there through the pump then we have to design these gears at the same time we have to design the casing so in short that was an explanation regarding the external gear pump now the question is we have to design a gear pump for the following specifications that is number one the fluid to be pumped is SE20 oil SA20 is the grade of the oil then discharge is 50 LPM that is liters per minute and delivery pressure is 30 bar which is the gauge pressure it means we have to deliver the oil at a pressure of 30 bar so we are going to see the solution or to this problem and this was a question now for the complete design video you all can go to our app that is impact the engineering app from google play store you all can download that app and the complete solution to this problem would be there on that app so you all can refer this 
complete design of gear pump. At the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you can like, share, comment, and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.